Okay, today we're starting out with organizational behavior. Uh, here's the uh, grading scheme uh, for this class. Uh, we have professionalism and participation, get things in on time, uh, read the articles, watch the videos in a timely manner, and uh, participate on the Moodle. Um, I, what I've noticed with the last class was uh, just posting uh, without a discussion. Somebody will post, somebody else will post, somebody, but the comments and the discussion and relating back and forth with your uh, coworkers is, is really important. Uh, so in the forums on Moodle, let's try to have a discussion. Uh, that means also, if you're uh, going to talk about the same topic that the first person talks about, you don't have to start a new forum. You can just go on uh, right below them. Hey, I kind of relate to that, and then here's my experience, or here's my thoughts, and then somebody else can go, okay, uh, you know, uh, I agree with both of you, but so uh, try to have more of a discussion instead of just posting uh, as if you were turning in an answer to me. Uh, so, uh, next uh, we have gurus. Uh, if this was a 15-week face-to-face uh, -face class, we would probably spend uh, a week and a half on gurus, where everybody in the class goes out and picks a management guru or an influential management uh, personality, and uh, they would do a little oral presentation on that. And so, uh, here, we're looking for somebody who is inspiring. They don't have to be famous. It could be a, you know, just uh, one of the box store founders, uh, managers, uh, or it could be toxic. Now, these will be going to Moodle because I'm not going to get in trouble on YouTube <laughs> talking about these famous people that might be toxic, uh, that might get me into a lot of trouble. Uh, they're already bad to begin with, and now they're going to be bad on me. No, we're going to put that on the, the Moodle, not here. So um, uh, these gurus should be uh, about people. Uh, we just did HR, so they could be, you know, they're good with people. Uh, it's not about strategy. It's not really about entrepreneurship unless it involves people, organizational behavior, and HR. So uh, this will be 30% of your grade. Uh, we got the 10% up there. And uh, I want, I want it. right now I'm gonna say let's get three. Each person get three. Uh, and we're gonna write up a, a small paper on it. We don't need a lot of history unless it's relevant to learning about management and organizational behavior. So uh, if we can get to the meat, about you know this person's philosophy, this person's practices, the results they get. Uh, th that's what we're looking for. Uh, <clears throat> next, we have the final project, uh, which is 30%. And uh, this will be advice to a new manager or your manager. Uh, here again, a lot, a lot, a lot of you are coming from HR, and we've already kind of did the analysis of the culture or the analysis of the management practices at our own place or a former place of employment. Uh, but right here, <clears throat> I want you to pretend like uh, you're sitting on the steps uh, giving advice to somebody, maybe a new manager, uh, maybe one of your friends is going to become a manager for the first time, and you're sitting on the steps giving them advice, all the things that we've covered in the previous class and, and this class. Or, if you want to, you could have your, write your paper, uh, your final project, uh, and be speaking to an old boss that you loved or hated, and, uh, or your current boss. But I think it would be good probably to, uh, so we can stay away from negativity and say to the new manager, here is my advice. You're going to be using all of the concepts and, uh, that should be pretty obvious. So uh, that would be your final project. Uh, and then we have the final exam, 30%, and you will get a study guide. A few of you have never had me in class, so uh, you might be scared that, you know, we're going to go through all of this material and then what's going to be on the test. Well, I want it to be 
uh, no, no big surprise. Uh, you do get study guides. It makes your all of the things important. Hopefully, everything we talk about is important. Uh, it will be listed to make prepping for the final exam easier. Now, uh, management. Here is what I want you to think about. Management is the most important profession on the planet. Some of you are young. You've uh, never, had a, never had a job. Uh, but you've probably heard somebody talk about their job. And uh, someday you might be in the position of being in management. And that is a very important uh, position to be in. Uh, it's a profession. Uh, managers, if you ask me, should be licensed because they can ruin the spirits of people or uplift the spirits of people. They can ruin families, they can ruin lives, or they can build up families and build up lives. Uh, so uh, the stuff is important. And it's not just about passing the final exam, it's about becoming a better manager. And we're using the final exam to see how well you, you did on that. So I'll be thinking, when you, when you watch these videos, management is the most important profession on the planet. So, uh, one more time, got the Moodle stuff, turn in things on time, 10%. Uh, gurus will pick three. I think we can do that. You don't have to write a book on each one. Uh, final project and final exam. Now, I would like to apologize for these big numbers. Those are big, big, scary numbers. But we only have five weeks, so uh, what else are you gonna do? Uh, so anyway, uh, do your best on those and uh, we'll see what happens. That's 30, 60, 90, 100. Good. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy the videos, the articles, and the Moodle discussions.